If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> oh, oh that, that's that bell, man. That means I got a random question for you, man. When, when, when is Marvelous Marvin Hagler's birthday? This guy's the best boxer historian that I know, man. His birthday? Yeah. Uh, I know it's May. It's it's like around May twenty third ish. <laughs> He's two for two, man. He's two for two. Like, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I know he was. It was nineteen fifty four because he was sixty six when he died, and see, see my dad that? was sixty six. That's why I remember that. You okay. know what, Hagler? Rest in peace, Hagler, to both Hagler and your and your father. Thank you, and, and Hagler. And Leonard were the only two posters I had on my wall, like big boxing posters. Right. And even though I was a grown man when Hagler died, right. Like a part of me, he was like a superhero. Like Marvin Hagler was so he was so strong. Those guys, when you're a kid, like you think they're gonna live forever. And even right. when you're an adult, you still. Even though I saw Marvin getting older yeah. and you know gained a little weight, yeah, it's still marvelous, Marvin Hagler. Right. So you, it's just hard to. Like your suit, your your superheroes dying, but yeah, they seem larger but, than life. Yeah, 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 man. But we're all man. I don't like man. the questions, man. I don't like the pressure. It's, it's pressure. <laughs> I'm gonna start hey, man, sweating. You're passing with shining colors, man. You're doing all right, man. I told you, I have faith in you, man. I have faith in you, know. And it's funny talking boxing, like you said. It's just sometimes some people, if you let them, they'll take the enjoyment out of just having boxing discussions because it's supposed to be fun sports yeah. debate should be fun you know of course you're gonna get a little passionate because you like this person a little more than you like that person but it's still supposed to be fun and you know what i thought was very fun i thought the sparring sessions going back to pro box oh. was dope man uh which i don't know for sure but i feel like it was your idea i don't know if it was but it kind of reminded me of around the horn on espn and it's something that i always wanted to implement on my show so i wanted to know where did it come up if it was your idea where did you get the idea from and who came up with the intriguing topics i feel like i know the answer i feel like it's you but i want you to explain it, it was like the 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 concept of the show it's been around you know so i look up full credit i took i i came up with almost the whole idea the owner of pro box said hey why don't we put you in a in a like a refs like a bow tie at first i was yep. like no way no shot <laughs> am i doing that but then we did it and i was like hey this, this is works. perfect but i came up with the topics and yeah. uh every single topic i came up with and the great thing about that paulie and chris and this blew tim bradley's mind paulie and chris would never know the topics so this wasn't contrived they didn't know the topics until we were setting up right before we were about to go to air and they saw them like come on the screen so oh, they never cool. knew the topics and it was just fun stuff to get them to 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 go back and forth. Yeah. That now that show was unique and it, it was uh it was a lot of fun. It yeah, was a man. lot of fun to do with those guys. It was fun to watch. You know, it, it, I know you said it was all it was all fun and games and but man, they, they really got hot about winning and losing, you know. They despised losing they and they really mad. enjoyed winning. <laughs> they got and and look, I'll be I I would preface it by saying, listen guys. I'm being like a real boxing judge. Right. So I would score some rounds very poorly on purpose. Like if Pauly <laughs> won the first two, I right. knew in my head I got to get this next one to Chris because I wanted right. to be close because we right. would only do like four four rounds or something like that. So, yeah, uh, yeah there would be some... Hey, look, one of the judges had Bam Rodriguez losing that fight against Estrada. I, I was you. just like a boxing judge yeah, when I was exactly. Exactly. It's something that, 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 you can't... I mean, I know as much as... You know, I'm, I'm an advocate for, for fairness and, and accuracy when it comes to judging. But I do also appreciate the human element of it as well. You know, like whether it's boxing, you talk about basketball. It's like, yeah, maybe maybe this referee in basketball might let that foul go. But then this other referee is going to call it. So, and maybe in boxing, maybe this referee may prioritize and appreciate uh, aggression. Maybe this other other judge appreciates uh, accuracy in punches and, you know, being judicious with your punches, but being effective. And some people might like ring generalship. You know, it's, it, it depends. You know, now when they come out with those rules and say, okay, now we focus on effective punching, then it gets kind of questionable. But yeah, some people like certain things, you know, some people like counter punches, some people yeah. like aggression. So I don't know. But you know what? My point was some boxing judges are bad, so I'm going to be bad too sometimes <laughs> scoring these rounds. I'll just yeah, like being honest bad, with them. Though. And they would get mad and I'd say, hey, Polly. Stop, man! I'm like a real judge, so so just just stop. At least I'm, I'm at least unlike boxing judges, I'm saying why I scored that round for you. 
Whether yeah. you like it or not, I'm saying why. So boxing judges don't don't do and, that. And you're so. visible too, so like you, you have to have right. some type of accountability. You know, you're just not a name it on really, a piece of paper. <laughs> it, it was a unique show, and it was a super fun show. And we had talked about uh, doing it with, like, getting Tim involved and getting Sean involved, but it, yeah. it never, it never got to that point. I think Tim was, Tim was a little nervous because he he couldn't believe that they didn't know the topics that, right. that they just knew all this stuff like. And 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 Chris and Paulie, those guys, they know they know the sport because the sport is their life now. Even right. though they're not fighting, right? Like it's it's their life. So that show was just man. I still have my bow tie and and, and my my shirt. You know, <laughs> maybe they'll go. come out of retirement one day, but. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, I, I enjoy watching. That was actually one of my favorite segments, man. Because like I said, I always, always want to implement something like that onto my platform. You know, have, hopefully have, you know, some some cooler guests, you know, and ha have them debate a topic and I'll be like a moderator. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold. We're about to freeze, but we're Florida boys. Hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.